Thank you, Virginia. I didn't really know that you had used it so much for your coaching practice. So that's really interesting to me to hear how you used it that way. Were there any roadblocks you faced in trying to figure that out or unique things that you've had to figure out on your own? Oh, well, good question. Yes, of course. It's technology. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wouldn't say that I was necessarily a techie person, but when when I really became passionate about using this tool for delivering my coaching, for delivering my my courses, um, of which you took uh, a couple of my courses, when I became passionate about that, I said I can overcome the technology, because that really was for me the the stumbling point. Um, you know, be, and also because when I started using Hangouts on Air, it was a new platform. Like there's several other new platforms we have out there, but when it was a new platform, it got it was glitchy. There were things that would go wrong, and so that made it, you know, a little bit frustrating in the beginning. But now the platform is really stabilized. I don't really have any problems with it anymore. So for someone who's looking to start to use and embrace this this hangout on air platform themselves they're coming in at a great time because the stability is there but with any new technology you just got to roll with the punches and and not worry about it if you get kicked off you just get back on right <laughs> yeah that's so true and that you know that's one of the things that i hear people say all the time that oh hangouts are really terrible you should just pay for go to webinar because hangouts just aren't reliable and i try to tell them it's just as reliable as go to webinar for me but i think people tried it early on and then they haven't tried it again since because they thought it was terrible so isn't that yeah. a shame it that's is their loss isn't it it's it is loss. yeah i'd say come back and give it another try yeah. Yeah. Um, go to webinar has glitches all the time. I've been on lots of them. And um, to me, go to webinar just doesn't quite cut the mustard when it comes to getting your message across and making connections with your audience and increasing engagement. It's not as good.